It strikes one in every 150 children in the United States alone. It affects more children's lives than pediatric cancer, diabetes, and AIDS combined. And there is still no conclusive data on what causes the condition. Autism is a neurological disorder. While there is no cure for autism, most experts in the medical community agree that early intervention is key for improving the lives of autistic children. Well, early intervention is critical because as soon as one is able to detect symptoms and address them through such treatment methods, the potential for successful prognosis is actually increased. Well, research shows that by the age of six, 75% of the brain is already developed. So it's crucial that we work with children early on, ideally before the age of six, so we can fully maximize their learning potential. Experts say that therapies and behavioral intervention programs can remedy specific symptoms and bring about substantial improvement. Research shows that most successful and effective treatment programs consist of the following criteria. Highly intensive, approximately 20 to 30 hours per week of learning, conducted on a one-to-one -one basis. One therapy that includes all three components is called Applied Behavior Analysis, or ABA. One of the primary goals of this treatment approach is minimizing a child's failures and maximizing his or her successes. ABA uh, involves a lot of care and thoughtful planning and how material is being presented to children and what they should learn developmentally. In addition, how the material is paced, reviewed, and practiced in multiple settings is crucial. Um, ABA itself is actually one of the most popular and fully researched programs out there for children in the autism spectrum. Uh, where even some children have become indistinguishable from their typical peers as a result of having such intensive therapy over a matter of a few years. Clinical professionals at Stepping Stones Center for Autistic Spectrum Disorders in Northern and Southern California have successfully utilized the ABA principles and other research-based multidisciplinary treatment programs to help autistic children live more successful, independent, and productive lives. Most children who receive ABA services have shown significant improvement across social and language skills. In fact, some have even lost their diagnosis as a result of just a few years of intensive therapy. It's very important that uh, a successful ABA program include collaboration amongst the child's learning environment. Uh, overall, millions of children worldwide have shown to have more socially enriched and independent lives as a result of having had ABA. Other treatment programs include individual speech therapy and occupational therapy where children can work on their communication skills as well as their fine and gross motor and sensory integration issues. Um, there are also group-based programs where children can work on their social skills in addition to their communication skills. And many of the children on the autism spectrum do have deficits in the area of communication and social skills. One of the crucial keys to any research-based multidisciplinary treatment program is to individually assess and customize a program that addresses each child's needs. It is essential to individualize a treatment program. Success of a program depends upon understanding the functions of a particular behavior for a child and creating behavior plans accordingly. If you present a cookie-cutter approach to treatment, you're not truly understanding the underlying issues for a child and goals should always drive a program. A program should never drive goals. My son primarily is working on leisure skills in the home setting, and in the school setting, he's working on really specific academic things like money, um, riding the bus, learning how to purchase groceries, and a lot of self-care skills. And he's also working on leisure activities, like what to do with his free time. That's very hard for kids with autism. While ABA-based autism intervention programs have shown positive results, parents must be cautious of myriad new programs claiming to practice ABA. As a parent, you are your child's most important advocate, and you need to find qualified providers who can really tailor their approach and their teaching style to reach the needs of your particular child. And it's not a one-size-fits-all approach, and parents need to be included in the program. And a qualified provider will teach you, as a parent, how to reach and teach your child. 
We here at Stepping Stones are guided by the principle that the child's needs and best interests come first. And by keeping the child's needs and interests our number one priority, we feel all else will follow. In addition, we feel that effective treatment programs must be managed by highly quality staff. So as a result, we require all of our case supervisors and behavior consultants to hold at least a master's degree in psychology or special ed or a related field, as well as hold significant number of years of experience in the field. One of Stepping Stone's primary mission is to educate the public about various effective treatment options and to give them hope there is a light at the end of the tunnel. After months of focusing on all of his deficits and problem areas, we saw results in his behavior and in his abilities within the first week of starting the therapy. So for the first time, we felt a reason to hope because we saw that something worked. Today, there are more than 1.5 million Americans that have been diagnosed with some form of autism and the latest data shows the number will only continue to rise. We're learning that advances in early treatment methods are giving autistic children and their parents a greater hope for a brighter tomorrow. For more information about Stepping Stones Center for Autistic Spectrum Disorders, visit SteppingStonesCA.com.